Hi, in this video I'm going to show you Folks PC Linux desktop running on this HK1 R box Android TV box. This HK1 R box Android TV box is based on Rockchip RK3566. SOC is running Android version 11 and kernel version 4.19.172. Our Folks PC distribution runs as an application on top of any Android installation. Our distribution consists of two APKs, the desktop APK that sends audio and graphics to Android the installer APK that manages the installation, and then the third root file system, all three of which you can download from our website, folkspc.org. I've already installed Linux desktop on this device. I'm going to start the Linux desktop. Here is our Linux desktop booting up. There are other technologies uh, that, such as Linux on Android that uses X11 graphics, X11 server running on Android to bring Linux desktop to Android. But we implemented a graphic stack that works very efficiently on Android that means you get native Linux desktop performance on any Android device. After all, don't forget that Android is just another Linux distribution. So here we are running Debian Bullseye XFCE. It's a 64-bit distribution. It is running on top of Android, so you can click on this Android widget and you can switch to Android. You can also go back to Linux desktop by clicking on the desktop icon. So pretty much uh, all the applications on Debian are available for you. You can use our Synaptic Package Manager to install more applications. We have already installed Office, uh, let us see, LibreOffice and Firefox. So this is our Office suite, which is, which is whatever comes with Debian Bullseye. None of these applications have been modified in any way. Our graphic stack is binary compatible with X11 libraries, even though we are not X11. But the good thing about providing X11 compatibility is we don't have to change or make any changes to these applications. They run just as, as it would if we ran on standard Debian. So this is the Linux test. This is Office Suite. We also have Firefox. Audio is working both on Firefox and, and on any application here. The file system is shared between Debian and Android. For example, you can go to the file manager. Storage is any external drive. So let us say I put this USB drive onto this. So USB drive shows up here. 
I have some test files. So audio works, video decoding also works, uh, mp3 playback works. Drag and drop works. So basically you get the benefit of all Linux desktop applications. And, and really we support any Android device. You can visit folkspc.org and there's distributions for Android x86, Raspberry Pi 4, as well as Android N2 and other Android TV box. In all these cases, Android hasn't been changed. We just run as an application on top of Android. Switching is very easy, like I said. So anyway, hope this is of interest to you. Thank you very much.